Hey folks, Adam Brian Dada with the Low Reward video series. It's been a angry, emotional week on the social networks as usual. It doesn't even matter what week it is, it doesn't even matter what the big headlines are. And I see a lot of you falling into that anger and that emotion when you're giving it to someone who's egging you on, one of your friends, one of your contacts in the social media space. You're focusing it on whatever the topic is that the media has wanted us to get angry about, polarize us, split us up, and then profit from us when it weakens our confidence and weakens our focus and weakens our motivation, robs us of determination. And this is why I've said for many years, uh, well over a decade, that a man is judged by the company he keeps. As we keep company, it means that we're investing in them. We're giving them our attention. We're giving them our consideration and our care. And even in the social media online world, when we give someone our attention and give someone our care, we're investing in them instead of investing in ourselves. When you find yourself arguing with someone on the internet or in person, be it family or friends or coworkers or anonymous others that you will never meet, you're divesting of your future. You're taking away from your future self and you're giving that time and attention to whom you don't even know who created that interaction what social media algorithm said we're gonna keep this person's attention for our own profit and we're gonna do it in a calculated way they don't even know who you are and you don't even know who they are but they're profiting from you and you are not you're giving a piece of your future, a big piece of your future, in order to make someone wealthier who doesn't even know who you are and has automated a side hustle. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Reddit, the blogosphere, even all these new private social media networks that people are starting up, people that you like, people that you trust, are automating a side hustle. And you are the one paying for it. You're the one giving them your attention and giving them a piece of your future self. When you interact with people online, it's really important to think, is this a person that I should be investing in? Is this a person that's worth a piece of my future self, a piece of my future value, a piece of my future power, a piece of my future success? Is this person right now that I'm interacting with a person that I want to take from my future and give to them now. And I'm not talking about the Zuckerbergs or the owners of Twitter or whatever. I'm talking about the very person that was also emotionally twisted into having that conversation with you today, whatever the topic is. You're being told that your opinion matters. You're being told that you can make a change for society. And again, who are you trying to make a change for? Why would you care about someone that doesn't care about you, that can't name you or shake your hand? The changes that you're being told you can be a part of don't happen. And the person who's profiting from it will never know that you tried your best. They just know as long as they keep your attention, you can no longer compete with them. You can no longer take your time and turn it into future power and wealth. And this is something that I remind myself every day of and I still get stuck falling into it. But I've gotten to a place now where I can sit on my boat or sit on a beach or sit on an island with a pretty girl or two. I don't really need to build future wealth as much as maintain it. My goal here on this video series and on social media in general is to find more guys that I can hang out with. That's my goal. 
My goal is not to become more successful financially. My goal is not to build any more power for myself. I don't need it anymore. I've come to this place in my life where I am truly contented and truly comforted and don't need to add more of that, but I would like more peers. So I test my network. I test it constantly. I ask them questions, sometimes gnomic, sometimes serious, sometimes irrational. I ask them questions. I constantly test them and say, why are you doing this? Who are you investing in? What are you trying to get out of this action, this behavior? And more often than not, they apologize to me, which doesn't make any sense. I don't care why they're doing it. I want them to apologize to their future selves. When you catch yourself investing in others, spending time with others, giving others your attention, when you do that, you're keeping company. And the man who's judged by that company is you, but who is the man judging you? Well, it could be successful, guys. I'm judging you because I can. I can freely judge you. I don't have need for it. I'd like you around because I see something important for the future for me. But the real person who's judging you is your future self. The man you will become in a day, in a week, in a month, in a year, in a decade, at the end of your life, the person that's judging you the most is your future self. And he's probably judging you to be poorly performing. Your future contentment, your future confidence in yourself, even your future charisma is gonna come from what you're building today. And when you get emotionally involved with others that don't know you, or when you get emotionally involved with others you do know, you're donating away, throwing away your value. When you could be spending time networking with men who care about their businesses, networking, networking with men who want to build something with you. And you're not going to do that talking about politics. It's never going to happen. Talking about politics is never going to happen when you're a loser. It's never going to happen when you're talking about a basketball player or a football player. Not going to happen. Wealthy people go to those basketball games because they want to watch their money double. They don't go because they care about the team. They want to go because they want to brand themselves as successful and they want to watch the suckers cheer and clap and cry and hold up signs. Men, grown men holding up signs for a basketball player that will never hold up a sign for them. Not politics, not sports, not the latest movie, not the latest album from your favorite band. None of that is gonna make you successful or wealthy or powerful. Your future self is losing value every time you get into discussions on social media. So why are you not actively judging yourself? It's okay. Feeling guilt is important. I am guilty that I wasted my time building my empire by getting to a fight with some fat incel neckbeard who has probably not seen a woman naked since the last time he visited Pornhub. Or better, you're getting into an argument with a woman on the internet. A woman on the internet. How about a pretty woman on the internet? You're gonna show off to her? You're gonna white knight for her? You're gonna defend her against mean old patriarchal Adam Brian Donna? You're gonna do that? You're gonna throw away your future value for some girl who's never gonna put out, never gonna give you the right attention, never gonna hang out with you after a party. She's just a brand. You're just a fanatic for a brand, whatever that brand may be. Why aren't you going out there and looking for men who want to build networks? And I don't mean the guys on social media who are saying, yeah, I got you, bro. You got this. You're going to get this. Yeah, let's collaborate and build it. And then every other post on his wall is about politics or sports or music or movies or celebrities or whatever nonsense MLM, Forex marketing crap that he's trying to get you to sign up for. Click funnels nonsense. No, you don't want that. You want a man who's actively promoting a real business with a real profit potential, and you want those guys in your life because you want to talk about what you can do to cross-market and support 
buy and sell to each other, share each other's tax advisors, share each other's accountants. I'm friends with my competitors. Across the board, I'm friends with them. I'm friends with people I've destroyed in the market and people who have destroyed me in the market. And guess what? Markets are ever changing and ever fluctuating. And that terrible idea you had two years ago doesn't mean that it can't happen again. When you get emotional, as a man, you're accepting defeat. You're accepting defeat because we get emotional because we have no other options. So what does that mean when you're on the internet, on social media, getting upset? It means I don't have anything better to do with my life. So I'm accepting defeat, complete defeat, and all I'm gonna do at this point is get mad and angry or preach to the choir or circle jerk with other losers who are never gonna go anywhere with their future selves. They're just gonna rob themselves and invest in these anonymous billionaires who are automating a side hustle where you are strictly the one paying for it all. A lot of days I've wasted in my life where I sat down to ponder what I just did all day, try to write it down. What did I do all day? And I can't come up with an answer. What did I do to invest in myself today? I'll ask myself tonight. Who did I invest in today? Who invested in me today? And that's something that we'll kick off a two week self study on as we get more of these videos up. And talk about how we can decipher who it is we're investing in and figure out who is investing in us. And most of all, the topic of today, who two angry, emotional men on social media are investing in in the end, and how instead of investing in others, we can get a piece of that action ourselves. The investment self-study is one that doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take any cost in money. The only thing it takes is a strong backbone to understand you're gonna feel really guilty for a long time. You're gonna to think to yourself, I am not only a loser, but I am a loser addict who won't stop making other men rich, other politicians and other sports ball players and other musicians and other social media owners and other junk food makers and beer makers and drug manufacturers and streaming media producers. And you're gonna feel a lot of guilt. It's a two week self study and it is guilt, 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 guilt. But we have guilt in our brains because it's a reminder that we jumped to the obvious consumer distraction again and again and again. And 100% of male guilt typically is that way. 100% of male guilt is realizing we wasted another day robbing from our future selves to give to someone who is smarter, more motivated, more determined, more patient, and more risk-taking than we are. And here we are, judging who we've invested in today. So stop investing in anonymous others. Stop getting emotional and investing in that on social media. If you would like to hear the full two-week self-study about judging who you're investing in, who's investing in you, and how you and your network can invest in yourselves and each other, comment below. Let me know that you're in interested in the two-week self-investment self-study, which again is gonna be free on here if I get enough comments. And spend some time today, at the end of the day, and write it down, pen and paper as usual. Write down who did you invest in today, who invested in you, and who might have you invested in that you can't even name. I'd like to hear more about that as well in the comments below if you feel like it tomorrow. So shoot off a comment if you'd like to hear more about the self-study, and tomorrow shoot off a comment if you'd like to share who you invested in, who invested in you, and what anonymous billionaire you might have invested in but don't know. I'm Adam Brian Dada, and this is the Low Reward video series.